I'm Audra Stafford, and this week on California Life, we're launching our brand new Paso Robles Cabs of Distinction Spotlight Series. We're going to kick things off with George at Copes, who takes us to beautiful wine country for a look at some unique winery experiences. Paso Robles was named Wine Region of the Year by Wine Enthusiast Magazine and is quickly gaining recognition for their Cabernets and Red Bordeaux varietals. Set between Los Angeles and San Francisco, this beautiful wine region offers a variety of unique winery experiences. Perhaps one of the most thrilling is offered by Margarita Adventures at the historic Santa Margarita Ranch in the Paso Robles wine country. Here at this true California landmark, you will embark on five distinct zip lines spanning more than 4,500 total feet, starting with an epic 1,200-foot valley crossing and finishing with a breathtaking 1,800-foot ride over vineyards. Your tour concludes with an optional wine tasting at Ancient Peaks Winery, featuring Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, and other wines grown on the ranch. As California life continues on this spectacular wine journey, we discovered some valuable lessons about the entire process of Cabernet winemaking and sampling wines from the barrels. We try and give people a, a behind the scenes experience. We do our barrel room experience and we walk people through the barrel room. They get to sample French oak versus American oak and we always finish it off with a little barrel sample. Michael Mooney is the proprietor and winemaker at this charming boutique winery Chateau Margine. Along with his family, he fulfilled a dream to plant a vineyard and build a winery back in 1998. This is our wine thief. So we, we go along and steal some wine out of various barrels and we make a different blend almost every weekend for people and they get to see the wine crafted in their glass. We start with Cab, we add Merlot, we add some French oak. We actually craft the wine in their glass. Moving on to our next destination. Pass Robles is deeply entrenched with Cabernet. It's you know, over half of the 26,000 acres is planted in Cabernet Sauvignon, so Cab is definitely king in, in Paso Robles. We found the perfect place for a train enthusiast. We do a concert once a month called Trainwreck Fridays, where the community comes out for a barbecue and looks at the sunset and dances uh, into the night. We have different blends that feature Cabernet Sauvignon, like the Trainwreck is actually our high-end blend that features Cabernet Sauvignon in the blend. Pomar Junction is a lush, family-owned and operated vineyard and winery. Surrounded by vines, picturesque views, and real old-fashioned train cars, Pomar Junction can make your special day truly unforgettable. Another place that offers quiet serenity and as well as a gourmet bite to eat while touring wine country is the Cass Vineyard and Winery. You'll find four different varieties of Cabernet in their vineyard. Well, what's really unique about our place is that we have a wine and food pairing opportunity when you come here wine tasting. All the items on our cafe menu go really well with Cabernet. Truly a wonderful destination for lunch, executive chef Jacob Lovejoy uses all local ingredients and cures his own meat for his special dishes. Meanwhile, in the heart of Westside Paso Robles on Vineyard Drive, Hammersky Winery and Inn offers it all to those who visit. The vineyard is a gem with a historic century-old four-bedroom farmhouse that has been transformed into an elegant bed and breakfast nestled among the vines. Hammer Sky is a photographer's dream and is known for hosting upscale weddings and special events. Owners Doug and Kim enhanced the historic site to be a working winery and inn that they could share with others. Dow Vineyards is right up there too. When people visit our winery, first of all, they're on top of the world, where you can look around and admire the beauty of the Central Coast. But what you're going to find is a very French terroir that has the same soil as the beautiful vineyards in France have, but blessed with the beautiful climate that we have in California. A one-of-a-kind experience on Dow Mountain, stunning 2,200-foot elevation views, beautiful any time of year, and delight in some of the most fabulous wines here at the magnificent Dow Vineyards. When people come to Paso Robles, they can expect to taste some really world-class Cabernet that really reflect a great terroir that's going to give you natural acidity, great color, beautiful balance. All these things can be found right here in Paso Robles. Paso Robles celebrates Cabernet with an annual event hosted by the Paso Robles Cab Collective. Dow Winery owner and member Daniel Dow is looking forward to the Cabs of Distinction Gala. My favorite thing about the Cabs of Distinction Gala 
is where you can actually taste all these wines under one roof and see the beautiful terroir that can be expressed through all these wines that are being poured there. We're really looking forward to this event. What we're really looking forward to is all the trade, the media, the guests that have come to this area really discover Paso Robles, not only as a, a great wine region, but the king of, of wines, Cabernet, Paso Nails Cabernet. As general manager of the La Quinta Inn and Suites, Victor Pop is excited about the upcoming event as well, especially the fact that it attracts more cab lovers to his hotel, which offers a special perk to those visiting wine country. We offer this wine hour for our guests to give our guests a little piece of Paso Robles. They come in and they visit this beautiful area and for them to get a little taste and, and experience this Paso Robles region is special for us. Ben Mayo, winemaker at Eberly Winery, known for their wine cave tours and dog-friendly setting, lets us know what we can expect from a Paso Robles Cabernet. They can expect great value and great quality from Cabernets at Eberly, and also incredible ageability. These cabs uh, age gracefully and beautifully over time. Eberly Winery also carries a lot of winemaking history. Gary Eberly co-founded the AVA back in 1979 was our first vintage, and we've been going strong for 35 years. Over at the stunning Villa San Juliet Winery, owners and American Idol executive producers Nigel Lithgow and Ken Warwick created this luxury destination as a way to share the good life. Winemaker Matt Ortman shares why cabs grow so well in the Paso Robles region. The cab vines do very well in our abundance of sunlight and then our cool nights, as well as our soils here. We have uh, great well-drained soils that provide a lot of character to the wine. And final stop, the Vino Robles Amphitheater. Two of California's great compositions meet as exceptional Vino Robles Cabernet Sauvignon and intimate live music are paired to create an unforgettable wine country experience. The 3,300-seat boutique amphitheater is nestled on a picturesque oak-dotted hillside in Paso Robles and is host to America's top performers. Enhance your live music by enjoying Wine Under the Stars at the concert. For more information and tickets for the annual Cabs of Distinction event, visit PasoRobles.cab.com. I'm Georgette Copes reporting for California Life HD in Paso Robles Wine Country.